Hey guys, what is up, DSG here, and today I will be showing you guys, well, I will be starting you guys off on getting your mobile YouTube careers going, pretty much. Um, now, this is only pretty much for hardcore YouTube, uh, mobile YouTubers, people who don't have access to a computer very often, people who can't sit there and edit all their videos with a hot, with a high-speed um, internet connection and even a laptop at times. Um, these are this is uh, this these videos this series of videos are really for people who only have an iPhone to uh, show all you guys all the cool stuff that they're doing and want to entertain you guys with YouTube videos. Um, so I will have two YouTube video uh, two YouTube video uh, choices jailbroken and non jailbroken. If you're not on a computer, obviously why would you? You could check those out in the link in the description. But you'll want to stay for this video for requirements. If you don't fit these requirements, uh, you may not want to even try. Like, no, like you want to try, but I mean, like, there's not gonna. It's gonna be a lot more limited for you, and it's gonna be a lot harder. So, I'm gonna go over the required first, or the suggested first. So, on your device, you should have suggested two gigabytes worth of space. Um, to do all your recording, to have all your apps downloaded, things like that. You should have around 2 gigabytes, because I'm just telling you alone, most of the apps take up about 1 gigabyte. Um, so you probably don't want to have 2 free gigabytes at all times, or at least 2 free gigabytes when you're installing the apps. The second for the suggested is, I'd say anything above an iPhone 5 up through a 6 Plus. Um, those are the devices that are going to be able to run all the apps smoothly. Even an iPhone 5 is bordering it, um, but that's definitely what you'll want to have. That will be the fastest device, and it will give you the most feedback, the quickest, and it will not lag. Um, not lag as much, should I say. Uh, for the iPod, the iPod 5 is what you should have, and even that's going to be a little bit lower of a processor than the 5, uh, the iPhone 5, uh, the phone, or the 5C or the 5S are. Um, for iPads, you may want to have an iPad 3, an iPad Air 2, or a Mini 2. Um, those are what I suggest to you. Now, these are all based off personal preferences and me knowing about Apple and looking into Apple. So, these may, these aren't what are required, but these are what I'm suggesting that you guys might want. Pause. Unpause. Now the iOS um, version you're running, you want to at least be on iOS 8 because that's what most of the apps support now and now you don't have to worry about rolling any apps back or anything like that. Um, so now on to the required. For the required you'll want at least 900 megabytes of space. At least. Maybe bordering on a gigabyte even. Um, so you'll you'll need at least that much to install most of the apps, and some of the apps you may not even be able to install, um, and it's just going to be a lot harder for you. You must at least have an iPhone 4. Um, so because you can't have an iPhone 3 because they run too far back, I believe they're on 6.1.4, the 3Gs and the 3GSs, um, which are just a little bit too far back, and the processing speed is way too slow to even play on. And even the iPhone 4, which I um, currently have one of my devices, and I is, devices is an iPhone 4, and it runs very slow. I cannot even play Minecraft on it without uh, massive amounts of lag. So if you're going to do that, you may not, you may only want to be playing Clash of Clan types type games. Now, for an iPod 4, for the iPod, you'll want an iPod 4, but most apps do not run very well. In compatibilitation uh, with iOS 6.1.4, which is the last version of the iPod 4 you can get. So you, if you have an iPod 4 or below, you may not even want to... You may want to see what other games are available, but there won't be too many. And for the iPad, you'll want to have at least the iPad Air 2. Or, I'm sorry, at least the iPad 2, Air 1, and Mini 1. Um, now all of the iPod, I, bleh. now anything running under iOS 8 will be relatively easier to get software on. 
and I can show you alternatives uh, for all of that. But those are what you should have for space. I'll go over them again. The suggested is you want 2 gigabytes worth of space in your device. An iPhone 5 or better, an iPod 5 or better, an iPod 3 or better, Air 2 or better, or Mini or better. And you'll want iOS 8 or above. Now for your required, your required, your requirements are 900 megabytes of space, an iPhone 4, maybe an iPod 4, an iPad Air 2, or I'm sorry, an iPod, an iPad 2, an iPad Air 1, and an iPad Mini 1. And you'll want to at least, at, at very uh, least, be running iOS 6.1.4. Now go ahead in the description and click whether you want the jailbroken the whether you want to watch the jailbroken version if your device is jailbroken, or the stock or the non-jailbroken. All link if yours is not non-jailbroken. I do have to warn you that uh, 8.3 currently is not tested on some devices for the applications we will be using. So if you're running 8.3, uh, the applications may not be working. And you may not be able to record with the devices, which I will show you alternatives for that. But um, go click in the links below, and you will be able to watch the playlist, the entire playlist from there. Thank you.